what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel i came out here into the garage a little bit late today although i didn't really have any plans because today is super overcast and it's gonna rain soon but i came out here to check the mail and then i noticed a car outside that i don't know who it belongs to check it out It's an RD1 CRV. Now, as I was checking out the CRV, it finally clicked to me. A couple of days ago, my brother had sent me a post on Facebook of a CRV that looks just like that one that he wanted to purchase for my nephew. My nephew has been driving the ES300 Lexo, and that thing is. It's ready to go to the junkyard, to be honest with you. And uh, my nephew said that he actually liked the CRV that the homie Kerry brought by here not too long ago to do the water pump time belt. And uh, he kind of wanted one since then, right? So then, uh, I guess, now coming outside, seeing the car there in the yard, my brother went and bought that CRV for my nephew. So uh, I know I know you guys have been asking me to build like an RD1 and stuff. I know you guys have been asking about Tyga's car. Um, if you guys haven't been around Tyga, he had a RD1 CRV, a black one that was like a B20 VTEC Turbo. Then it was an LSV Tech Turbo. It made like 460. And then he went with the K24A2. We swapped that in. And then he sold the car like literally right after that. So I don't know where the car went. I don't know what happened to it. I know you guys have been asking about it, but um, it's gone as far as I know, right? So a couple of CRVs has been coming to the driveway here and there, there and here in the last couple of years, just friends, cars, just getting worked on and things like that. But my nephew now has an RD1 CRV, although we're not gonna do anything crazy to it. Uh, the car has a stack a stack of like maintenance paperwork from Honda. So whoever had that car definitely took care of it. So I don't think there's much of anything we're gonna do with his CRV. But just so you guys know, you will see an RD1 in the back background of the videos now. So anyways, guys, if you haven't seen the last video, we painted the engine bay of my right-hand drive wagon. I'm going to let it sit there and cure for, I don't know, however long before I get back to the car. Because today, we're going to start working on the H2B CRX. A couple of videos ago, I moved it to the driveway because I knew that after I paint the engine bay of the wagon, we're going to start working on it. And I'm going to start with it today. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now that we're not going to do anything too extensive in this video as far as working on the car all i really want to do today right now utilizing the rest of my daylight right there is just to get it up on jack stands take the wheels off of it clean all the spider webs and everything underneath the car pressure wash it possibly wash the entire car maybe the floor mats as well too that i got for it i got it Put the floor mats into the car the carpet's kind of boo-boo so the floor mats will kind of cover it up uh the interior itself though is not much i can do to it other than just clean it up because i cleaned it up before i let it sit i just want to clean it up again put a new air freshener in there make it smell nice and clean and uh i'm still on the hunt for the center divider for the rear compartment system the two that you kind of press the little button it folds down and separates the driver from the rear compartment. I need that piece, but honestly, it's not a big thing I need right now because I can always install it when everything's all said and done. So right now, guys, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the thing on jack stands so we can start taking all the wheels off and start cleaning this car up.
I really hate daylight savings, man. It's only 5.20 right now. It is stupid dark. Stupid dark. Makes it feel like it's super late. And because it's dark, it gets a lot colder. So I checked the weather and it shows that it's gonna rain in about four days, but not tomorrow. Tomorrow is a little sunny and then the rest of the week is gonna be overcast like today. So I figured while the pressure washer is out, let's just wash the car too. It's pretty, it's pretty cruddy. When this thing used to sit over there with the car cover on, I don't know what rodent or whatever has been taking a dump underneath my car, but <laughs> that's all doo-doo right there on my bumper. That's all doo-doo. Even the car cover has doo-doo on it. And when I moved the car off the driveway, there was like a puddle of doo-doo. Not a puddle, sorry, a bundle of doo-doo, like skunks or squirrels or whatever, because they come through here a lot. Um, if you guys didn't know, I live in front of a creek, so it's kind of common. I'm gonna go ahead and just wash the car as well, too. So I washed the car yesterday, right? Or last night, and uh, it's already dusty. Well, I can feel all the dust on the car. There's already cat prints all over the um, hood and the roof because the cat jumps off of this. This is why I don't really wash my cars too often, but this car, this car, I'm gonna have to wash it 
up until it goes into the storage unit just to make sure it stays clean so uh we washed the entire outside of the car the engine bay underneath the car the wheel wells all the suspension components and it is looking fresh dirty fresh but fresh uh right now i want to kind of like vacuum clean wipe the interior because again it's been sitting for a little while so it's like spider webs in here and uh, i just want to clean up all of the dirt and stuff that has been i don't know piled up in here from all the time it has been sitting but clean for the most part all the spider webs i don't know you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see all that but that is a lot of spider webs Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Also inside here, you can kind of see the dust, right? I know it's kind of dark, but as I'm wiping this door panel down, I'm like, that is so faded that needs to be taken care of and this one right here you can see is like super faded as well i might have a solution for this but um i do have some leftover paint right here this is painted because this was also scuffed up before i might take off this door panel do some adhesive promoter and paint this uh handle lever and the window crank uh to be nice and freshened up with the rest of the interior but how did i not notice that before it's crazy to me this box here. There is a bunch of interior stuff inside here. Not this one. This one right here is also blue. Not faded. So before I even put the window crank in i want to take off the entire door panel so we can paint the uh handle lever right but i also want to fix this as well too so i took this entire car apart to respray it obviously polar white and um i was in a rush of putting the car back together to get it ready for race wars a couple years ago and i didn't like put the rods in correctly and if you look it doesn't actually sit flush by itself so i have to make adjustments to the rod to get this to kind of you know go back on its own flush I don't know if you guys can see it, but this rod, it's like curved like this. It's supposed to be straight. So where it is actually hitting is the hinge right here that's preventing the handle on the outside from like retracting flush. So if I go push the handle, you can see it kind of pop out right there. You see that? So I just gotta bend that straight. And I also noticed why the key doesn't work over here because there's no freaking uh, attachment thingamabob that goes right here. But lucky for me, I have 
a bunch of these handles in my bin and I do I do have an extra one right here with the circlip right there a little c-clip I'm also going to install it so we can use the key on this side and also I just took notice that uh, these guys these these guys are gone like gone gone so I'm gonna order some new speakers for this as well too this is Alpine unit as well should have snagged the one from the junkyard but it is what it is we got some clearance right there yes sir check this out guys check this out nicely freshly painted no more fades nice and uniform now it looks hella blue because the lights on it but realistically it's not that bright it's actually darker and compared to the old faded one night and day difference yes sir now before i install this i did notice that this sticker is all crusty and like the arrow is not even an arrow anymore this one's still kind of an arrow you can't really see because it's a gopro but uh really faded really crusty now if you guys don't know resto tuners do sell a sticker pack to replace all of the stickers that are inside the car that may be faded uh they do make it for a bunch of different making models like they have these guys the emergency one this one's completely gone uh the factory climate control they have all the replacements for those as well as well as these guys now i don't know if i have any extras i might i'm gonna have to throw one of these in the car as well shout out to nomis a little air freshener There we go right there door lock reflective for 84 to 87 crx civic 88 to 91 so this right here should be able to fit i don't know which way it goes it fits like that right into that little slot you can see i didn't use this before i don't know on which car i think la ponda i believe i got this for la ponda and uh i didn't use it before so you can see the assortment has a bunch of replacements for again make a model and right now we're going to use this one since we do have it out and replace the sticker so peel that off and use alcohol wipe it clean put the new one on bada bing bada boom right All right, look at that, fresh. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, a lot better. This one as well. So we have the newly painted handle installed. We have the new window crank installed and the entire door panel is back on. I did show you guys that one had an Alpine speaker. This one, this one has an OEM one, so definitely gonna have to get some new speakers in here. But other than that, this door is done. It's really starting to get cold out here, but before we wrap it up for tonight, I do wanna address these corner lamp screws. For some reason, they are rusting up. These are the screws that came with the lamp for the fender. It was a combo I got off of eBay with the bumper one as well. I need to address this one. For some reason, it doesn't secure. Might need a longer screw, but I want to secure that into place. But change these guys out, clean up that hole, get all the rust out of it, and probably put some OEM ones in because the OEM ones seem to not rust up. And I mean, I don't even know if I have any, but I do definitely want to change those out. It is on both sides, right? I think the OEM ones are galvanized. Like it has a coating on it. These only been on the car for like maybe two years and it rusted up just sitting here. Where OEM ones are like freaking 30 plus years old and they don't even show signs of rust. This is plastic. I don't think rust eats through plastic, but hopefully we can try to get all that out of there.
So I did two passes with that little Bristol brush on both these lamps right here. And there's still a little bit of rust inside of it. And because it is a reflective corner lamp, it kind of shows the orange, but I mean, hmm. I will say though, it looks way better than all that orange rust that was in here before. Now, like I said, because this is reflective, you can kind of see the orange perimeter, but I mean, this is a lot better than what it was. This side as well. Cool, cool. So let's get a longer bolt for this one. The little clip is in here. So maybe the screw is just too short. Here's a longer one. Now, before I wrap it up, wrap it up for tonight. Gotta make sure this car stay smelling fresh. This air freshener has been in the car for quite some time now and doesn't even, doesn't even have a scent anymore. But we have a replacement one right here. And I am gonna cut this completely out of the bag just so that this whole entire car can smell fresh right away. <sighs> Ooh, it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that there. By tomorrow, this whole entire interior is gonna smell stupid fresh. All right, shout out Nomus Industries. Honestly guys, it feels really good to start working on the white H2B CRX once again. I know it's been on the back burner for quite some times now, but I am motivated to really push through the build and start the process of getting this car ready to go to its new owner whoever it may be. You guys saw in this video where I kind of went back and addressed a lot of little things, stuff that I wanted to change, stuff that I wanted to fix, stuff that I kind of overlooked, and really just knock all the small stuff out of the way so we can start moving into the bigger stuff, like building a new exhaust system. I ordered a tool from Amazon and it showed up yesterday, right here, and I want to open this up with you guys really quickly to show you guys what I bought. That's going to help me kind of clean up the paint in the engine bay of my wagon. So be sure to remember to cut away from yourself not towards yourself. If you guys haven't seen the Wagon Engine Bay paint video, be sure to go back and check it out because in that video, I shown a lot of the flaws with the clear coat where I was using medium activator shooting in 50 degree weather, which then dripped overnight and caused a lot of runs or at least runs in the areas that you see the most in the engine bay when it's entirely put back together. And I kind of want to sand it down and clean it up, polish it out, buff it, whatever, right? But I have a big buffing machine that won't really fit into the areas that the drips are at or where the drips are at. So I bought a smaller buffer, right? Battery powered buffer that's going to fit in those little areas to ensure I don't scratch up the paint when I'm doing the polishing work. So this right here is um, a cordless mini polisher, right? There's a bunch of them on Amazon. This was the Amazon Choice and it was like $124 or something like that. And I figured as long as this thing lasts for what I need to do in the engine bay of the wagon, you know, I'm cool with it. So a hundred bucks, oh, comes with a nice case. Yup, check that out. So inside here we have two batteries, right? That's pretty cool. Um, we have the charging cord right there, right, right. This right here is the extension piece for hard to reach area. We have the tools, looks kind of weird, right? Um, we have the attachments for the pads. That's pretty cool because that's three different sizes right there, right, for whatever small job you're doing. We have a package of an assortment of pads. We got the wools, we got the foam. These colors are based off like, you know, taking off swirls, finishing, polishing, buffing, whatever. These are all color coordinated. We have the manual right there. I'm gonna look into that a little bit later. And then we have this guy right here. Look at this. Really freaking tiny, but smaller than my forearm. This thing is about 11 inches. 11 inches, no ditty. And uh, this right here, for how short it is, it's gonna fit perfectly between the tower and the motor mount post 
on the driver's side. In my case, right hand drive, the left side. So um, I got this tool for that reason to polish out that little corner. And I feel like, I mean, if you take care of your tools, it'll last you a cool minute, right? Um, you know, before the price, if I can get a good amount of hours out of it, I think it's worth it. So uh, this right here is for the wagon stuff. When I start sanding the bay down, I'm letting it dry for a couple more days before I really get down to sanding all those runs out. But I now have this tool for when I need to do that job. One more thing, guys. Rest of Tuner is going to have a big sale coming up here soon for Black Friday. And uh, I'll throw some flyers at the end of the video so you guys can kind of see some of the stuff that's going to be on sale. And if you guys want to see what all they carry, be sure to check the link in the description below. But if you guys don't know, Rest of Tuner has been on board with me for quite some times now. And I run a lot of their hardware and interior stickers in a lot of my personal cars, as well as a lot of my flip cars that I've done here throughout the years. So big shout out to Rest of Tuners, man. I can't appreciate you guys support enough and uh you know what i'm saying with the fresh paint in the engine bay of my wagon definitely gonna be rocking some more wrestle tuna hardware because in that box back there there's so much freaking that's a towel but the box is underneath the towel and that box right there i have a ton of brand new freaking wrestle tuna hardware that's gonna be going into my wagon can't wait to use them all up but anyways we're gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoy seeing the h2b crx back on the driveway if you guys do man be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you guys want to stick around for more progress update on the h2b crx building the exhaust system crane pulley solution polishing the paint out be sure to hit the subscribe button but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace